Up to this point in the module, we've examined several strategies to consider when answering quantitative comparison questions. In this lesson, we'll examine a few more tips to consider. The first tip is avoid making unnecessary computations. Remember, your only task in a quantitative comparison question is to determine the relationship between the two quantities. So in many cases, you need not actually evaluate each quantity. For example, in this question, we need only recognize that since we have a negative number raised to an odd power in quantity A, the result must be a negative number. And since we have a negative number raised to an even power in quantity B, the result here must be a positive number. Since a positive number is always greater than a negative number, the correct answer is B. Notice that we were able to reach this conclusion without performing any lengthy calculations. Okay, the next tip to consider is, do not select answer choice D if the comparison does not contain any unknown values. For example, in this question we can see that both quantities must evaluate to be specific numbers. Now answer choice D says that the relationship cannot be determined from the given information. Well, if the two quantities can be evaluated, then they can definitely be compared. So if you don't know how to solve this question and are forced to guess, then we can be certain that the answer is not D. All right, the next tip is this. When it comes to geometry questions, remember that the figures are not necessarily drawn to scale unless there's a statement saying that they are drawn to scale. So for example, in this question, we cannot conclude that since angle X looks bigger than angle Y, then it must be bigger. Instead, we must apply rules of geometry to determine the relationship between the two angles. In fact, if you do apply the rules of geometry, you will find the answer here is B. Okay, the last tip to consider is this. Pay very close attention to the shared information in the middle of the two quantities. Here you'll often find key information about the quantities and neglecting to factor in this information can easily cause you to make incorrect conclusions about the two quantities. Okay, so these are some additional tips to consider when tackling quantitative comparison questions. As you work your way through our course, be sure to revisit this module to remind yourself of all of the strategies you learned here.